half in the bag. Ah, it's nice having a week off from uh, the VCR repair game, wasn't it? I haven't touched this VCR in a month. Uh, what'd you do in your week off? Well, I saw a couple of films at the theater. I saw um, The Green Lantern Oh. and Mr. Popper's Penguins. What did you, what did you think of them? Oh, I didn't actually see them. Oh. I, I bought a ticket for The Green Lantern, but I didn't watch it. Okay. Because um, I have a, like a fetish. It's like a sadomasochist fetish for being publicly humiliated. Okay. It really, it, it fucking turns me on. Like, so I go, one for the Green Lantern and, and the girl behind the counter goes like that and I go, snicker at me. And, I, and then I come back after it's over and I say, one for Mr. Popper's Penguins and then everybody was laughing at me. Yeah. You know, they say, who would see this movie? And I said, I, I would like to. And then they just started laughing in my face. And okay. Little did they know I had a raging heart on. Hmm. Uh, so. Well, hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Half in the Bag. I, I didn't see you there. Oh, I didn't know um, we were rolling. Yeah, we've been rolling. Can you cut that out? Uh, yeah, I'll cut the it out. whole conversation. I'll cut that whole part out. Okay. Hello and welcome to Half in the Bag. I'm Mike. And I'm Jay. And this is going to be a special episode because uh, we took a week off from working on the VCR and we participated in Milwaukee's 48-hour film project. And if you don't know what the 48-hour film project is, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a contest where you and a team of people try to make a short film within 48 hours and whoever makes the best film wins essentially so you have to conceive the film shoot it edit it entirely so it is quite the challenge yeah yeah the first year we drew our genre was horror and we made das foot which was a comedy mm -hmm. what i do is i make midget home repair videos oh because you know midgets they have smaller homes than normal people Little okay. tiny doors, little tiny light bulbs. Sure, oh yeah, cabinets. that's so cute. <laughs> Second year, we drew Western or Musical. So we decided to make the Western or O-R-E musical. A fucking musical about rocks. Yes, which was also a comedy. On the count of three, we draw pistols and we fire at the other man's genitals. That, it was very, very clever, that one. Mm -hmm. um, this year, not so clever. <laughs> this um, year, we went the exact opposite. Yeah. It just made the stupidest, weirdest, uh, most vulgar movie possible. There's a kickoff event that you go to and draw your genre, literally draw, draw your genre out of a hat. And then you're given elements that have to be in the movie, which is a character, a line of dialogue, and a prop. So this year, the, the categories were, you know, the character name was Simon Taggart, or I think it was Susie or Sally Taggart, a female equivalent thereof. Yeah. Usually they do that, where there's a male or female. And he, the occupation of this character was a chess player. The prop was a pillow, and the line of dialogue was, where did you get it? And we all broke and, and left to brainstorm at a different location. And uh, that's kind of where things got interesting. <laughs> Should we take a look at what props we have? The nice thing about drawing sci-fi this year is that we had a lot of props already. Yeah. We, we had an interesting team. Um, we had a lot of comedy people on our team. We had, let's say we had our friend Jack, uh, who you might have seen from numerous short films that we did. He's also known for making the high five videos on funnyordie.com. Uh, we had our friend Laura, uh, who was in Feeding Frenzy, played the Russian lady in Feeding Frenzy. and. Uh, also looks very similar to a certain police officer who was here. Um, I noticed that. Yeah, she yeah. looks a lot they like that a lot officer. Alike. Cooper, it was weird. Right? Yeah. And we had our friend Dan, who um, who you may have seen in the Dude Bros. If you've been unfortunate enough to watch the Dude Bros. Douche hole. And of course Jocelyn, our, our friend Jocelyn, who is also an actress. She's a kind of a more serious, dramatic actress, but she took part in the film. Although she wasn't there for the brainstorming, she was no. just there to act. Wait, we have aliens too. Right? Exactly. So we need a main villain and we need... Yeah. We, we brainstormed well into... Yeah. Well into the evening. Past midnight. So like, yeah, like one in the morning yeah. or so. And so. just one idea after the other and... Laura could be in search of the proper vagina. You need to get back to church, mister. Because this your attitude lately is ridiculous! When you have that many people involved, there's lots of opinions. And so there's a lot of 
bickering, probably more for me than anybody else. Yeah, no one got angry though. <laughs> no one got angry, it but just... it was just sort of finding an idea that everyone was happy with. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we finally decided to go with the very last idea we came up with at the very end of the night. <laughs> After hours of brainstorming, you're like, let's just do this. So that's the plot. <laughs> so when the when the idea is done, that's when things become a hectic nightmare. It's 2.30 and we've shot one scene so far, but we just ate some delicious pizza, so at least there's that. <laughs> if I were to give advice to someone who wants to do this, one obviously is the technical stuff. Get wired up. I mean, it doesn't have to look like, you know, cinematic work of art. But Ours doesn't. The, the <laughs> basics are make sure things are well exposed and that you have microphones. You have a good sound source that's clean, whether it's a shotgun mic, or you put wireless microphones on your actors. Oh, sorry, I didn't go to microphone placing school like you asshole. <laughs> We've seen a lot of films where people would shoot in a bar and plop the camera down 12 feet away from the actors <laughs> where there's like the bar refrigerators yeah. humming and the camera mic is the onboard mic 20 feet away. And when you watch on the big screen, it's like yeah. When the day is young and you're starting off, it's fun. And then when you realize it's eight or nine at night and that you have 90% of the film to shoot still. Yeah. And you go, oh shit. Yeah. And everyone starts getting tired and spirits dip and people get cranky. This guy's a giant asshole. You think, oh, you get to film just ridiculous things for fun. And he's always like, oh, the monkey suit's on. And where's my water? And somebody, nonstop. Every time I've worked this asshole. I don't even know why I do it, to be honest with you. I hate fucking hate all of them all the time. I get the fuck out of here. Working for Red Line yeah, Media awesome. Inc. is the worst. I can't even say I think we're getting good stuff. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know, I think we're slap happy at this point. Yeah. I think it's yeah. really late and anything's funny. At about 8 o'clock at night, you know, Jay said, I'm done filming. Uh, what'd you say? Fuck you, fuck everyone. He kind of cursed us and called us jackasses and said he's never doing this again. But basically he said he's gonna go edit, start the editing process, and then I grab the helm and take over shooting. Yeah, which actually and was a good It worked move. perfectly yeah. because there was a lot of stuff still to get, but we shot for a couple more hours and you got a lot of editing done. Yeah. So it was good to kind of split off like that. So today we are working on, on music. Also, we are doing visual effect shots for our space scenes. Jay was editing the movie, Jack and Jesse were making um, music, and I was shooting the special effects. And then later on, Jack had his laptop and was doing After Effects, blurring out parts of the video. Jay was cutting the picture, <laughs> and then I was doing the compositing for the, the visual effects. Three computers going at once to yeah. finish this thing. <laughs> Suggestions and comments. Uh, more, we need more time. <laughs> we, we came right down to the wire. We ended up turning the movie in two minutes from the deadline, mm -hmm. so which is a, a running Just, thing. Every year, it seems like we're right down to the line. Where does that happen? I enjoy doing the 48-hour film festival. It's 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 fun. It's challenging. I, I don't know if this might be my last year for it. It was more stressful this year than it has been in the past. Yeah. And I, I think part of that is just that we get way too ambitious with it. When you have a bunch of creative people, which we did this year, mm -hmm. it becomes more and more collaborative and, yeah. and kind of goes out of control. I mean, there were points where the, the morale was kind of low and things kind of dragged, but then it would pop back up when we'd shoot something really funny. Yeah, yeah. And I think everyone had a good time on the shoot. Well, maybe we should let the, the people so, judge yeah. for themselves what they think of the movie. That's right, Jay. This is going to be the internet premiere of our our new 48-hour film contest film, which is called The Great Space Jam. Uh, roll it, Johnny! I am Queen Voluptura of the Star Empire.
My reign is known throughout vast regions of space. Today I am to embark on the greatest galactic quest ever, to conquer the Fregnon Empire with my loyal star fleet. I decree that the war shall be named Space Jam, and it will strike fear in the hearts of our enemies. And with our loyal, evil, alien allies, the Brothers Warner, will this be the most destructive and greatest war ever? <laughs> However, our strategy was to announce the war and to show all of the destruction on a very carefully pre-selected intergalactic web URL, www.warnerbrothers.com slash space jam slash movie slash jam dot htm. However, this URL is currently still being used as a promotional website for a movie called Space Jam, released in 1996. I must have this website address to transmit my plans for intergalactic war. My mission is to find the location of the server on planet Earth that houses this website and destroy it. Then I can be queen of the universe. So when I was 15, I knew that one girl who had the cutest haircut. And I've been trying to get that haircut forever. And you remember when I was pregnant with Jeffrey and you were so rude about everything? And then did you also know, I heard this at the PTA meeting two weeks ago, that Sally Johnson's daughter got the gay. You know, you need to come to church with me. You've been so weird lately. Do you still have the- Sue, Sue, we've got a message on the fucking communication atron. Holy crap. It's from the commissioner of space. This is the Commissioner of Space. We have an emergency, and I'm in need of my top two space agents, Simon Taggart and Sue Peterson. Holy crap, what's our mission? The evil Queen Voluptor has arrived in Earth's orbit with the fleet of space destroyers. She's up to no good. You must infiltrate her ship and find out what she's up to. Got it, Commissioner. <coughs> Sue, we've got an important mission. Let's go. This spaceship's super roomy. I like it. I feel just super safe here. You freaking slow down. Why are you going so fast? You're in such a gosh darn hurry. You always do this. Anytime you get yourself in a metal box, go 2,000 miles an hour. Oh crap, can we stop at that nail salon on Mars? Good God in heaven, this place is nasty patassi. It reminds me of that one time that Sue was remodeling her basement. Do you remember that? And she had that big crew of those people that couldn't speak English. And they came in there and they just made it so gosh darn pretty. Except she had that fake wood and it looked so ridiculous. And you remember when you were dating Carrie and you guys wanted to fix your kitchen and I said you need to go with that Spanish tile. Did you hear Billy Mays died? I just could not believe it. And then he, I heard he had a coke addiction or some crap and it made so much sense because I thought to myself why is one person so excited about mops? Did you know that insects could rape each other? Can gorillas rape each other? You guys mainly just dry hump. Because I always... They've discovered us. Let's move. I always thought gorillas were super horny. Did I ever tell you about that time I found a whole colony of mice living in my vagina? I swear, I went to take a piss and this little tail came out. Do you remember that one time you were banging that lemur and she split in half like a hot dog in the microwave, just right in half and all her guts all over and we had to cover up that murder and we buried her and then her lemur family came over and like, hit the stupid malache. Remember, isn't it weird that lemurs speak Russian? Oh my God, you gotta stop! You better stop this, you evil alien bitch! Who are you? Doesn't matter who I am, but if you need to know, I'm Sue Peterson and this is my kick-ass friend, Simon. We're here to stop you from taking down the Space Jam website. Silence! You don't understand, my kids love that crap. I have been waiting my whole damn life for this website and not you nor anyone will be able to take that away from me. Space Jam or Queen Voluptua? Yes, oh yes, yes, oh yes, yes! Some guys find these attractive. I don't know why! Stop kissing! 
missing. No! No! Oh, she is too strong. Hotbot 5000, take care of the ape! Hey, monkey! I'm a rape you! Brothers Warner, it is now time to unleash your giant alien cocks and fuck that woman to death! Oh, oh snap! Now you're mine, bitch! Where did you get it? I gave it to you through rape! Oh. Your dicks are so giant and horribly strong! You are mine now! You are mine now! I will remember you always! Fuck more! Uh, yeah, uh, you bitch! Don't fuck with a housewife! Now take this cock and eat it up! Take this alien uh, cock, you bitch! You don't know shit! Okay, I give up! You can have the Space Jam website! I'll just create a GeoCities page instead. Fuck everything. So that's our 48 hour film. Yep, it's uh, wow! It was terrifying. It's it, it turned out to be more of a horror film than I think we originally planned. Yeah. I mean, that robot was just yes. I wouldn't want to get raped by that robot. Oh dang! It must be my birthday, cause I found some white boys. Oh! Ah, 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 ah. I can ejaculate at one thousand words per minute. You're not even the best I've had. <laughs> <laughs>